It's Reveille. By now, you may have heard the news that Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook and owner of Instagram, WhatsApp, and other lesser-known social media sites, has decided to indiscriminately shut out political posts from users' feeds on Instagram. Zuckerberg made the announcement on February 9th of this year, and the news is just now getting attention. But what's the big deal? Censorship on Zuckerberg platforms is not new. It's been happening for years, and it's been happening at the request of Joe Biden's agencies. That fact, long suspected, was confirmed by a federal court when Missouri and Louisiana sued over the issue. Now, ahead of arguably one of the most consequential elections in American history with a polarized electric, questionable election practices, polling that shows Biden is losing in every swing state, and millions of voters receiving their news on social media sites, Zuckerberg has toggled a switch that disallows political posts unless the user already follows the account. There's a workaround, but users need to first know they aren't seeing political content they may have seen before, and then know how to allow for political content to freely flow into their newsfeed from accounts they don't follow. With this switch turned on, Zuckerberg is also limiting the reach of policy groups like Breakthrough Ideas. Americans who get their news online need to train themselves to go to news websites they trust, sign up for newsletters to get information in their email inbox, and share content online to defeat Zuckerberg's censorship. I'm Jeannie Ives. In this new information world, we all need to be cognizant of what we are reading. To learn more, join me on this station from 7 to 9 p.m. on Sunday night and visit our new website to sign up for our newsletter at Breakthrough-Ideas.com. That's Breakthrough-Ideas.com.